Hello everyone, this is Roger. In this video, I will give you a basic introduction to ZWCAT, in which I will introduce ZWCAT user interface, mouse actions and keyboard shortcuts, command execution methods. First of all, I will introduce ZWCAT user interface. ZWCAT provides two different workspaces, which are ZWCAT Classic and 2D Drafting and Annotation. You can switch your workspace to the gear icon at the bottom right. There are two bar, Document tab and Command Line. Two bar provides a collection of command icons and settings. Document tab provides a series of operations on documents, and Command Line records the command history. ZWCAT also provides Properties Panel and Status Bar. Properties panel is used to control the properties of the selected entities, and status bar displays the coordinates of the current cursor and auxiliary drawing settings. You can use your mouse actions for some operations in ZWCAT. For example, you can use left button of your mouse for clicking or window selection, right button of your mouse for shortcut menu or contextual menu, and hold your middle button for pen and scrolling. You can also use shortcut commands in ZWCAT. The shortcut commands are editable. You can customize your own shortcut commands in ZWCAT. ZWCAT provides free command execution methods, which are through toolbar, dropdown menu, and command line. Most commands provide branch commands as well. You can input key letters or click in the right-click menu to execute branch commands. Let's go to ZWCAT to take a look what we just went through. In ZWCAT, you can switch your workspace between ZWCAT Classic and 2D Drafting and Annotation with the gear icon located at the bottom right corner. In 2D Drafting and Annotation workspace, you have the document browser on the top left corner and quick access bar file tabs and menu on the top. Then you have the ribbon. You will find the document tab below the ribbon. Properties panel is located on the right of your drawing space by default. Command line is located below your drawing space and you have the status bar at the bottom of the interface. You can call out the toolbar by clicking the gear icon at the bottom right, then select toolbar. In select toolbar's window, select CWCAT in menu group, then check the command tools you need in toolbars. Click OK after finish. Now we have the toolbars appear and ready to use. Click the drop down arrow on the document tab will show you all the open files. You can create a new document by clicking the plus icon on the document tab, or right-click the document tab and select new. The command line located at the bottom records the command history. You can press F2 to expand the command history, or you can press Ctrl plus number 9 to turn on or off the command line. The Properties panel provided on the right is used to control the properties of the selected entities. After selecting the entities, you can see the information on the Properties panel, such as the types of the selected objects. You can change the color of the selected entities, and you can change the lightweight of the selected entities, etc. The status bar at the bottom shows the coordinates of the current cursor, and you can turn on or off some auxiliary drawing tools for the status bar. Right-click the icons and click Settings to open Drafting Settings. Single-click the left button of the mouse for clicking and window selection. Right-click the mouse for shortcut menu or contextual menu. Holding on the middle button can pan the wheel, scrolling the middle button can zoom in or out, or double-click the middle button to fit the drawing to the screen. ZWCAT provides 
three ways to execute the commands. For example, you can use the drop down menu to draw a line, or click the line icon on the ribbon to draw a line, or you can input shortcut key L for line. Some commands, for example, to draw a rectangle, provide branch commands. You can input the key letter for the branch commands, like S for square to draw a square rectangle. Shortcut commands can be customized through shortcut key A-L-I-A-S-E-D-I-T. Select the command and click Add to modify the shortcut key for that command, or click Add to create a new shortcut command. Now, we have finished basic introduction. Thank you for watching.